everybody, Crafty Memo Paper Crafts here. I've just come on to do a project share of some things that I've been making. Um, the first thing is um, I did a video and uh, I, I have put it up showing how to make this lovely bag. And during the video I had trouble with the magnet so I just wanted to show you that I have managed to sort it out. So it is sticking now. Um, I've got the, the poles the wrong way around, if you know what I mean. Um, so they were detracting from one another rather than attracting. So I've managed to sort that out. So if you make these and you use the magnets, make sure you get the magnets the right way around. Um, but that's all I want to say on that. So I made that and this is one of the lovely, lovely poinsettias that Abigail gifted me. Um, I've also made this one. So this one has got the poinsettia paper and this has got a bow. Again, this is one uh, that Abigail gifted to me. They've come in really handy, Abigail. And then I think I showed this as the example when I made the other one. So again, it's got this gorgeous, gorgeous poinsettia on. And um, you put flat back pearls on as the feet. So that was those. And that one's going to fall. It's this glass mat, it, they fall over <laughs> on the glass mat, but they do stand up. And then I made um, one of these on video um, a few weeks ago with the napkin fold insert and I just wanted to show that and again I've used one of Abigail's poinsettias I, I just love them and I did another one of these boxes um, with the napkin insert and I've used another one of Abigail's bows and I've got another bag that I'm going to make I'm going to do a tutorial on it is similar to this one but it is a bit bigger now again I've used velcro and it's another 12 by 12 piece of paper but you don't put the um, extra bits in the side that is all part how you fold it and cut it um, that all forms part of it you cut one bit off and that makes your handle and I've used another of Abigail's points that is and um, yeah that's quite I haven't put feet on that one you don't need to you don't need to put feet on the others if you don't want to so that's those and then I just wanted to show you quickly um, some cards that I've been making I've made quite a few Christmas cards um, oh and Tommy's birthday card it's Tommy's birthday on Wednesday and I've made him this birthday card using some pages out of a hunky-dory book. So it's for a dear grandson. He's going to be three. Can't believe that he's going to be three. So if you open it like that, we've got Noah's Ark with all the animals. You are super. So all the toys. I've done that because he loves the toy train. And um, then I've done that. So that's Tommy's birthday card. And then I've made this beautiful Christmas card using a Stamperia or Stamperia pink Christmas pad that I won on Tracy Susan's giveaway. I'm going to link all these people into the video below and isn't it gorgeous? And it was in my drawer and I thought I don't want to use it but I really ought to use it. And this decoration on here, this poinsettia, it's not Abigail's. This one is one that Tracy Susan made me and I thought how well it goes with this paper. So, and also this is a card that I made for Cars by Kate Fletcher for her Corona Challenge and it is a double joy fold. So I've done that and then we've got this bit like that. And I've done this so that you can pull this little tag out and then it opens like that. So that is my Corona Challenge Joy Fold. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but mine won't do it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's 
that and then I've just made a few Christmas cards some of them are using the hunky dory books I've not quite finished them off I want to put a few embellishments on them so this one was a um, decoupage set um, that I found in my drawer it's Wellington Bear so I put those together there's another one there and then I've done these these again are hunky dory Father Christmas a Christmas squirrel I just want I, I will jazz them up a bit and um, I also had some um, so there's another Wellington bear I also had some stuff that was an old Hell's Couple ditch pack that I'd had for ages which I've decided I must use so that was the paper and some of the stickers and this was also from that kit as well so they are the cards that I've been making I just wanted to share a few bits with you rather than just coming on and saying this is what I've bought this is what I've done um, and um, yeah I hope I'll see you all again soon if you have liked what you've seen please please press the like button and if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would love it if you would and all the people that I've spoken about um, in this quick video I will link um, down below on my channel okay I'll see you all again soon bye